Um, All right. Let me share my screen real quick. Boop, 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 boop. All right. I figured it's just easier to do this instead of having everybody have to pull up their own. Um, so I figure since Liv has to leave, maybe we should actually start with design instead. You want to do that? Cool. Go for it. All right, so branding guidelines. I have a um, document that started um, that's basically just going over the colors that match with everything. And we're going to go in and link the Adobe color um, profile. And then Edie also suggested the HTML color profile. I don't know um, in her suggestion if that was her just saying create a link to the Adobe thing or if that was like something completely different. Um, but we're gonna look into putting possibly multiple forms in case somebody doesn't use Adobe products. Um, and then as we grow as a guild and org, um, our branding will probably grow as well. So it's meant to be kind of a living document that will go back and be tweaked. Um, I don't remember if I, sh I know I shared it with RIPG, but I don't know, remember if I put it in RIPG, RIPG's uh, folder yet. So if not, I will go and do that. Um, and then Wix research, Edie actually did um, all the research for that and then sent a document, um, which I can basically read off just the um, kind of more pressing things. Um, she also offered um, until we get money to be the one to pay for this at the beginning and just get reimbursed, uh, which I think is very sweet, but it would also be nice to not have to put that onto her. Um, and so basically she looked and saw that there is a free option um, for Wix that would be suitable for us at the very beginning. Um, we just wouldn't be able to link PayPal, um, which might be a big issue uh, later on. And then um, you can't choose your custom domain, um, but you can switch to a paid version later and then change your uh, domain name. Um, and she also said that we can always upgrade and do so whenever we want. This is from free to um, a paid service. Below is a graphic of the different packages. The top graphic shows with, without e-commerce, which means no payouts purchases online. The cost of e-commerce package is only $4 more from the baseline original um, per month. Also a note, even though these are costs listed as per month, you pay all in one for one year. Um, so she just goes through the with e-commerce and without e-commerce, and I can send this, uh, I know I sent it to Becky, but I can send it to the whole group um, as well, put it in the RIPG folder. I'm really bad about doing that. That's on me, I'm very sorry about that. I think um, actually, I think Edie put it in the RIPG website folder. Perfect, okay, that's good to know. Um, and then with the domain, she suggested, she says, um, through Wix, the Wix does offer custom domains. I think it would be a good idea to get one through um, an outside company such as GoDaddy, um, which is one that she's had personal experience with and has worked for her since 2006, she said. Um, and then she listed knowns and unknowns on domains. So the externally linked domain is one that we can trust to transfer the domain location easily if we decide to leave Wix. So we as a group kind of decided that Wix would probably be our best option and to just move forward with that one. But if we run into problems or it no longer serves us, like I said, because this is still kind of growing, then we're trying to set it up um, in the easiest way to move laterally if we need to. Um, and then see if Wix off even offers a .org domain. Um, it might not. And then she showed us um, an example on for GoDaddy, um, how you can type in a name and RI Print Guild was available. Um, that was just an example that she looked into and she gives graphics into those. So you can do .com, .org, .net, .info, .co, .com, .us, .live, .com. So GoDaddy just might be an option for us to look at um, to kind of wiggle around the limitations of free, um, free sites versus paid sites just to kind of cut down on costs potentially. Um, and then graphics in progress and timeline. So for the class of 2021, um, Tuang is working on that one. Um, and we have a deadline of the 20th since we knew that 
Um, no one had really submitted anything yet. And um, Becky and I also had a conversation about maybe sending out an email um, and potentially pushing the date back for that since we haven't had anyone um, apply yet. Um, I'm also gonna try my best to like personally um, ask people I know who graduated um, to like consider it, uh, especially since that's feeding into our meet our members. So, um, and then for the virtual database, we actually had a question on that. We weren't sure if this was a graphic for um, Instagram or if this was something that would be eventually, or sorry, Instagram, the newsletter, or if this is something that was meant for the website eventually. Um, it's mostly for Instagram. Instagram, okay. So I'll make a note of that. And then final Friday. Oh, also, um, we're still trying to figure out the ins and outs of Trello, which is also part of why some of this is as, isn't as running smoothly as we had hoped it would be um, before. I personally am <laughs> struggling to kind of figure it out. Um, I was able to like saw words, sign in and see the RIPG one and accept that, but I wasn't really able to get onto anything or work on anything. So um, <clears throat> again, Tuan said that she would take that over um in kind of setting everything up um and i'm personally gonna look on youtube for how to use for trello um and if i find a good video that i feel like explains or a couple i'll also send them to the group um because i know a couple people have asked me like how do i do this and i'm like i don't know i'm sorry um so hopefully once we get that more up and running and we all kind of understand how to use it um this will go a lot smooth a lot smoother of like what we need done um, and all of those things. Hold on. Mm. Discord and mailing list graphics. Oh, I think we might have completed that. Individual schedule for Instagram. Okay, no, let me, I have to check in with the Discord and mailing list graphics because I feel like we completed that, but that might be a what is it when you have a memory, but it's not a real memory? It's like, because you thought you did it, you remember it. I don't remember the name, I, so I'll have to check. It's that, um, it's very that, <laughs> what you yeah. just said. Because <laughs> I, have, I have a memory of working on graphics for someone working on graphics for mailing list specifically, um, but I can't remember if I got done or not. And maybe Steph knows, um, if that's done or not, and I'm. Um, well, I just asked, Barbara's right here. <laughs> I mean, I have a headphone in though, but. <laughs> uh, Hi, Barb. Uh, they said hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, did you finish the calendar? No, so the only thing I haven't done for the calendar is the stickers. stickers. Barbara said all that's left is stickers. Okay, y'all can hear. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, that's it, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll be done. Mm -hmm. All right. And then Liv, I'll try to also look at Trello too, because I know I started the I started the G one, but I um I haven't like had a chance to like really play with it. And it looked like some things had changed before, because when I got into it, I was like, oh, it's been a minute since I've been on here, and this does not look like how I remember. <laughs> um, so I think they've gotten a little bit bigger, but um, I'll look at it as well and try to play around with it because I was use, like using it for like a good minute like pretty extensively for my own like personal stuff um, mm -hmm. so I think if I can just like get used to the new interface I'll figure some of that out and then I can like maybe communicate some of that back to all y'all okay yeah it is it's it's hard because it seems very straightforward and easy but then I go and click things and do what feels intuitive and nothing works so I'm like all right we're just gonna <laughs> Just gonna have to play around a little bit um yeah. well tomorrow um or this weekend i'm actually going to visit tuan so oh. um i can ask her to help me a little bit and maybe tuan would know um yeah or give me some tips and maybe i can pay that forward awesome. <laughs> to <everyone>. hopefully <laughs> 
if not, that's also okay. Um, and then I guess, oh. oh, sorry. No, I just had a question about the websites. Mm -hmm. um, do the PR, so does Edie have experience with Wix? Yes, she does. Okay, because I uh, wouldn't, sorry. No, no, you're fine. Go ahead. Um, um, I was saying that, because uh, I used it a long time ago, that was like the first website I tried to use and it was really, I thought it was really difficult because you had to like design everything yourself and it wasn't super intuitive, which that was like eight or seven years <laughs> ago. So um, obviously things can definitely have changed, but I was just curious if she felt really, or whoever felt really confident with that. Um, Cause I remember struggling with it. <laughs> yeah, and my personal preference is Squarespace, um, but Me we too. kind of looked over all of the options, both like um, how much it would cost, so pricing wise, and then mm -hmm. um, user usability, like having multiple people on it at once, and both um, Edie and Twan said that they had experience with Wix and had and didn't really have any problems with Wix. Oh, that's good. Um, awesome. So having two of them say that, I was like, okay, yeah, I feel that's, that's even better. That's yeah. even better. Feel a bit more confident with that one. Plus the pricing and like people having the amount of people that could be on it and working on it at once um, was also a benefit. Because I'm not entirely sure, even with the business side of um, Squarespace, you can do that. So, mm -hmm. um, and then I just have a quick question about the final Friday graphic. Is that the specific one for this final Friday or do you want us to make a general one that you can plug information in and out of? Yeah, I think it's a general one. So like the one that Barb already made is fine. It's just like, I don't know if we have the fonts that Barb has. And so like either uploading the fonts or whatever. And then I don't, I didn't check before the meeting, but um, making sure that the Photoshop form of that is up there too. Yes, and we um, did talk about, I did relay that to the group in the meeting um, okay. to include the working documents as well as a final product. Um, and I also said that I would put up, uh, if it's not, if there's not one in the design folder already, I was gonna put up a folder for the specific working documents as well. Okay. Um, so that's something I will do is that. All right, I think that's everything we have for design. Let me just check my notes back real quick. Yeah, I just kind of added what I remembered us talking about, so. I'm making Barbara look up what the font is called because uh, Barb said it's just a font from Word. So. <laughs> like copywriter. Barbara thinks it's copywriter but we're gonna check. Okay. Um, the only other thing I have is we kind of broke down the, what, because um, I remember us saying, I think last meeting about the website, of, we would like to roughly have it kind of going-ish um, at the end of August, if I remember correctly. Um, and so we just kind of broke down exactly what like the first steps would probably be so compiling information and what to go in it um, is probably going to take the longest time. So I was also going to create folders for in our in the RIPG page that's just for the website, and we're going to have different folders for different sections. And all of us can kind of just go in and move where we like think information should sit um, and all of that. So also be looking for that for me, so we can just kind of start to get all of that in, so we can create our shell and plug and go just kind of get off the ground running. Um, yeah, that was, I think that is my last thing. I also wanted to know um, what the status of the Discord graphic was and if I'm just like not finding it because it could be an Instagram and I'm just don't know where. Okay, that was the one that I was saying, I'm not, I don't, that was the memory that might not oh, be a memory. <laughs> okay, okay. So I will, I will get into, I'll get onto that and see okay. what's going on with that. Cause that's not, that wasn't a, um, 
Seth says, IDK, if it's possible to import that or if we can look it up, but also we can also edit the date super quick and we could do that today. Let me know if that's what y'all need. Um, and I saw Becky that you said that that might be a, here, hold on. Let me go back in my notes and see who was assigned to that one. All right, one sec. Um, yes, Stephanie, that would be perfect for the, um, we're, I just want to make sure we're talking about the same one, the uh, final Friday graphic, right? Yes, that would be perfect. That way we can get it up there um, and we'll still be like a week ahead to give people time to plan. Will you tell me, um, or will you just type out like um, the date you and times you would like listed so in the chat it, right now and I can just write it down and yes. Barbara can edit it right now. But we don't have a time yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Okay, um, so that was also, you are right, Becky, in that that was also a bar project, but if um, Barbara has too much going on, I can try and take that one over um, and get the Discord um, graphic board, words, get the Discord graphic done. Um, and I'm assuming that's just as soon as possible at this point. Yeah, it's not like a super huge thing. I just lost track of what was happening with it <laughs> and was wondering. Cause... And Barbara also might have finished it and it just might be in a, might not have uploaded it or put it in a folder. Um, but I'm just, I'm judging by Steph's face as that's a no. <laughs> so I could, I could get off that. I said, did you start the Discord graphics? <laughs> and Barbara was like, Mm -hmm. And I said, are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can, I can do that. Um, I can do that. Here you go. It's <laughs> very embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. No, no apologies. You're all good. Lots going on. <laughs> but yeah, um, Barbara will work on it. I mean, it's on your to-do list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let me know if you need any help from me or anything like that. And I'll be happy to do that. Cool. Okay. And then if that's, that's it, right? We're ready to move. Okay. Just wanted to make sure before I wandered off. Um, so I guess, I guess I can just start going over the uh, Instagram stuff. Um, I don't think Kay said anything else to me other than what's on here, but I'm going to double check really quickly. Yeah, no, there's nothing new. Um, so Takeover Tuesdays are running pretty well. They're running pretty regularly. Um, we are still pretty much booked out until September, but I think maybe next month we might start reaching out to people again. I don't know, because I'd hate to leave it till September and then we're just like, ah, <laughs> you know. Um, I did change the, it used to be the Texas resources highlight. I changed it to just general resources. Um, and so that now sits there. So if you ever like run across anything that just is like, I think one of the things I just put on there was, um, like black owned LGBTQIA plus stores that sell pride merch, like that kind of stuff would be cool. Um, and then also like black owned businesses, um, AAPI businesses, those are the kinds of things I've added there where it's like not, the business will exist forever. <laughs> like it's not temporary, you know? So I'm trying to build that up. So if you see anything, feel free to send it and just say like, hey, for the resources highlight and I'll add it to that and also to the story. Um, the one thing that I wanted to talk about was, so it's been <laughs> a couple of times now where we've forgotten to check Google Forms um, just as a team all together. So I think maybe it would be a good idea for us to put down reminders, but I don't necessarily wanna put them onto the Guild's Google Calendar because I think that might be too much. 
because um, I was looking at it and I realized the Google Forms we would be checking are like Takeover Tuesdays, meet our members. And then we'd also be checking right now the um, class of 2021 and then also any voting <laughs> stuff. So I kind of am like, okay, um, I'm open to suggestions on like where to put those or if it is okay to put it on the Google Calendar and just make it so there's no notifications or um, what y'all think about that. Like specifically, I'm worried that we're waiting like a month to put up like a meet our members person because we get those so infrequently, <laughs> you know? Um, so yeah, what are y'all's thoughts on that? I'm okay with it on calendar. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's a good idea. And should that be like a mailing list responsibility? That is a very good question. That's a very good question. Um, Just because mailing list is already so like tied into our account already and is like mm -hmm. looking at that stuff. Yeah. Or, I mean, I guess that's like something that I do when I'm like on our account. I'm like, I want to like look at every little thing. So I don't know if that's like something we just incorporate into their work. Yeah. I mean, I think that would be helpful. The only thing that I could see that doing well, but is that any different than what happens now? So what happens now is I usually am the one who like checks those um just like randomly my brain is like hey what's going on <laughs> and then I will like text Tuan or whoever is in charge of the um posts so like take take over Tuesdays usually I'll say something to Kay and then um meet our members I'll say something to Tuan but also that wouldn't be any different if it was a mailing list responsibility you know because then it would just be the mailing list members doing the messaging instead. So I don't know. It would be cool for that to not be like a me thing, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, I think that could be added to mailing list. And then would they be in charge of all of the Google Forms? Or maybe what we do is we divide the ones that are um, like Instagram specific versus incorporation specific. Like the incorporation things I check anyway, cause like we have to for the meetings. So like they wouldn't need to worry about those. Um, but other than that, I don't know. Other than that example. I think it could be Yeah, I just think, I think it could be all of them. <clears throat> all of them? Yeah. I mean, like, we can also, like, live saying in the chat, um, taking responsibility for a class of 2021. Um, so, yeah, I would just, I, because I also have the same question as Olivia, like, I just would need to know how to check this, all the specific ones. Like, I would need a list of all of them and then um, just know, like, where to go. But, um, yeah, like, I think. As long as there's like an existing workflow for it, I think I'm fine mm -hmm. with that. Yeah, and to answer Liv's question, so Kay sometimes sets them up so that they will have like a dump of like an Excel spreadsheet basically. Um, but for a lot of them, I just look at the Google form and like look at responses because then I can pick a, a specific response, especially for takeovers. And then I can just like copy paste all their stuff instead of having to dig through a whole spreadsheet. But I think that's also just a personal preference thing. So it emails RIPG. I've just never really, I've never been on this side of forums. I'm always like filling it out and it goes somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like when they fill it out, is it getting sent to RIPG's email? And that's how you're seeing it? No, there's like a, um, uh, I'll show you at the end. Cause I, I want to show you now, but I don't want to share anybody's personal information. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah as soon as I, if I, once I figure out how to do okay. that, I don't mind. You uh, have to leave. Yeah, but we can meet some other time and, and just look at it real quick. 
actually, why don't I show you, I just remembered, hold on. I think I'm the only person who replied to this one. Okay. Oh, two people replied to this, but they're anonymous. I just remembered that the voting things are anonymous. So I'm gonna share those. Ah, if I remember how to share <clears throat> I also think it wouldn't be a bad idea as to not overload mailing list. Um, if it's something that's like Instagram specific, maybe that's part of Instagram's duties to do. I think that's what Ruben was saying, but just in case it wasn't, I wanted to voice that. Yeah. As well. No, I think that's a great <clears throat> thing to add on to. Yeah. Thanks, Luke. Especially when it comes to things like Instagram features, like those can get really overwhelming <laughs> very quickly. Um, so, yeah. I would also argue that some of the incorporation specific things like voting, we don't really need to do anything with that other than review it during um, a meeting. So they won't, one thing they could help with is like turning this off at the right time. Um, but that's pretty much all they would need to do there. That could be, so, we uh -huh. can program that into the schedule then be like on this date, notification to turn off form response. That's perfect, because that's something that I struggle to keep up with, because <laughs> it's a lot of remembering um, dates very far in advance. Everything else I schedule things for, like I schedule messages and stuff. Um, so Liv, this is kind of how you look at it. So this is the whole form, we filled it out. And then you can look at responses and you can look at like individual responses. And if we ask for emails, you can actually like, there's a drop down menu here that has people's emails on it and you can just click on their email and get to their whole entire response. So that way you can get their um, link to whatever images they're sharing with you and their bio and all of that. And that's how I prefer to do it just cause it's easier for me. Okay. Um, yeah. That and makes then, sense. Yes, exactly. And then some of them just go out into a, um, a whatchamacallit, uh, an Excel. Excel. Yeah, so that also works fine, depending on, you know, your personal preference. Okay, I just have to make sure I'm signed into the RIPG website and that's how it's, or website, the email, and that's how I see it. Yes. Okay. Um, Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. I'm just making sure I write all of this. Okay. So we'll do Google Calendar reminders for okay. Then I will do that all in the mailing list um, color on the calendar, and then that'll be something I don't have to remember myself anymore. <laughs> oh, sorry, you saying that just uh, made me think. Did you want us to add the? Um calendar colors and the branding document? Mm -hmm. Or do you think that should just be somewhere else? Or do you think it's not even necessary to document at this point? It, it might not be necessary okay. right now, but it might become necessary later. So like, as we become more robust. Okay. <laughs> Good, yeah. word. Good word. Okay, just wanted to ask. Um, so that's it, I think, for Instagram. Um, and then Open Studio, we just need to choose a time. It's going to be on June 25th, the final Friday. Um, but I wanted to know um, what y'all thought about times. I think last time when we ended it earlier, we didn't have as many people. Um, and I also can't remember if we wanted to keep going with the having it open with like a rotating set of hosts. So, yeah. So yeah, last time we didn't really have a lot of people because I think it ended up <clears throat> for some people being like really, really early. And for some of them, it was like the middle of the work day for them. Um, like for the most part, I was kind of the one who was on it for majority of it. And we didn't have as many people who could rotate over and I think like we had like one person for the first hour um <clears throat> and then we had we actually had like an hour of like nobody and then Eugene got on um and then we had like that pretty much all the way up to the end so 
we only had really like two people participate versus last time when we had it be a little bit later more people had like their evenings kind of cleared out whereas like the middle of the workday was harder so i think it just kind of depends on how we're getting all that so i kind of like the later last time it was <clears throat> like 4 p.m yeah 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 Yeah, I think the time before that was like 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. EST, I think. I think so. Yeah, yeah. And some of that also might have to do with like making sure we promote it earlier. Um, but more than that, like I agree, I do think it is. Because I think 4 p.m. for me is 2 p.m. for um, Olivia, you know, like. No, it's 1. Oh gosh, I hate Arizona. I love you, but I hate Arizona. <laughs> yeah, had to be special. Had to be the only one that does not follow mm -hmm. uh, daylight savings time in the mountain. So, yep. Um, but yeah, so that's something to think about too. Is like, okay, how do we? And I think 10 p.m. is safely for anybody in the U.S. anyway, um, or really, I think North America. I don't really know what happens when we get into South America and if their time zones change. Um, but anyway, I know like at least at 7 or 8 p.m., like most people are going to be available EST. So should we go back to that 5 to 10? Does that seem like a good? We could try like 6 or 7 to 10 maybe. Or maybe five and stop it earlier than 10. Um, Cause five hours for the event seems like, I don't know. Yeah. Cause I, I know I was, I was saying like we should have it longer and it is for like rotating, but also if we're the hosts of it and we are also rotating, but somebody can't rotate in, we don't want to leave someone there for five hours. Um, but I feel like five might just be a little bit too early for the West coast. Because I know Pacific time is also three hours behind the East Coast. So maybe if it starts like six or seven, like no earlier than six and seven Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, I was going to push for like seven Standard Time. <clears throat> yeah, seven Eastern, because that would be 6 p.m. here. And that's usually a good time. Because then, like, you've got, if you get off work at like five, then at 5 p.m. Central, then you have like time to like, like kind of decompress, like just having that little hour. Okay, yeah, then let's do seven to 10 um, EST, and that should work for everybody pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So that's the time, Stephanie. Um, do you need me to like summarize that in one little line so you can tell Barb? If you just say it right now, I'll write it. <laughs> okay, it's June 25th. Yes. From 7 to 10 p.m. EST. 7 to 10. 10 p.m. E F T. Got it. Also, I feel weird talking about Barb like they're not there. <laughs> well, they just walked to a different room to work. Okay. So okay, that makes you. But better. also, I have a headphone in, so okay. they can't hear me okay. or hear you. They can hear me. You know. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Cool. So seven to ten p.m. I think that's a good idea. Um, and then. I think that's it for open studio. I mean, we have like a standing meeting um, location, which I'll send out. Um, Ruben set that up. Oh, there's one other thing. This kind of ties into the general event. Um, we briefly talked about maybe making it like a pride themed yeah. open studio. <clears throat> do we want to do that still? How, how do you mean themed? Um, like invite people to dress up be in drag, etc. I mean, I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all for it. I think it's like a nice low impact way to be like, hey, um, specifically Canadians, not to call anyone out, but Canada's 
rolling out their vaccines way slower than the US and like maybe they want to celebrate pride with us <laughs> you know um but also I think I'm I just think it would be fun <laughs> cool okay so maybe we'll add something about that um I think I had I used to have a standing zoom link for it but when I'm looking at my recurring zoom meetings I don't have one or mm -hmm open studio so i'm making one right now perfect okay yeah so it is there it is it's made yay would you send that to the guild thing so yeah. i can okay <clears throat> yeah um that way if like you don't have time that day to send it out i can etc um i also don't know what the future of my zoom account is going to look like i've not heard anything yet but it's just the fact that we're going to more <clears throat> in person again like the school is already like jumping back into you know back to normal whatever that means um ways of running things like i don't know if that means like i lose my zoom account but i would just i don't know i would assume not because they i don't know how they're like subscription works for it but but like i said i haven't heard anything concrete yet so once i do like maybe that's that'll be the time to worry about it but i just want to like maybe put that like um as a thing to consider i will say i i'm in a similar boat um but i believe because because we're also starting to go to in-person classes, but they also can't force anybody who doesn't feel, at least at my university, who doesn't feel comfortable to go. So Zoom is still an option. Um, mm -hmm. So I should still have the like advanced version um, for a bit until I graduate probably um, in the next year. So if we need to use mine, um, I think I should still have it um, just in case. Yeah, like it's probably, they're probably at least gonna hold on to it through the next academic year just because like <clears throat> yeah i don't know I, again i haven't heard anything but it just i imagine like the next academic year would be a thing and we could also do like um standby google hangouts too because i have google hangouts through kcai that one i know for sure isn't going away because that's part of like the bigger google um account and it's just like included in our like education um, packet thing. So. Is Google Hangouts better than um, Skype, do you know? Um, it's been a long time since I've used Skype. Mm -hmm. um, but I think they're like kind of the same. Um, it's, I don't know, we, I can like, you and I can do like a, little test meeting on it if you want to see like what it looks like okay yeah yeah i think that would be cool because i know skype does do live closed captions i don't know how good they are but i do know that they do them but i also don't know if it makes like a transcript so yeah that's the thing i know <laughs> google um google hangouts does not google meet does not do that there's a lot of great things that Zoom provides that, and I really prefer Zoom, but. Me too. Yeah, I was, I was gonna ask about if the other options, I know um, Google Hang, the, the one you said, the Google one, I know that one you mm -hmm. can kind of share screen as well, but I don't know, mm -hmm. to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure you can't do that with Skype unless they've changed mm -hmm. it since the pandemic. Um, right. So I feel like Google Hangout or um, Zoom would probably be your best option. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and that's a good point with like needing a, maybe having to like budget for like a Zoom mm -hmm. account in the future. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's a hard one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. 
Well, we've chosen a time. <laughs> yes, sorry. And it's okay. And we're thinking we'll maybe add like a pride thing. So what I might do is like, um, it doesn't have to be me, but I can make like a real cute, real quick pride like sticker to slap on it, um, to slap on the already existing design that Barb has, and then use that for the promotion. I don't know. Maybe that'll be an easy way. That way it's still just kind of editing the thing that's already existing without, you know, having to do too much extra to it. Um, so I think that's it. Uh, Ruben, do you have anything for mailing to talk about? Nope, pretty much I've caught up everything <clears throat> with the spreadsheet. So like looked at people who have joined and updated the, the spreadsheet to like reflect more current members. There was a couple holes that I found, um, like two people who I've like, don't know your name, but, um, or your email. So it's like hard to gauge. Like, I think they just like filled the form out wrong or something, but uh, no, everyone's been so far, we should be like up to date. Maybe there's like one person that I haven't added yet, but like, yeah, everyone should still be there. <clears throat> Very nice. Um, do you know what's going on with your volunteers yet? Mm, no, not yet. And just because I, that's a, like, I've been actually trying to like catch up to like mailing list work. And so I'm trying to like also revisit like who were like part of our volunteers. Um, so I know we had like, I think Jameson was one. I don't know, Stephanie, do you remember? Uh, yeah, Jameson and Clarissa were both okay. ones. And I haven't like really reached out to them in a minute. So like, I'll probably have to like do a reintroduction to be like, hey, <laughs> I exist. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, and after this week, I should be able to help more help as long as no other emergency things happen. So I'm sorry and I appreciate y'all. <laughs> um, okay, groovy and cool. I guess the next thing is incorporation and this one's kind of like a beefy one um it's robust <laughs> um so first voting results are in um the past two votes were unanimous uh yeses so we've adopted the bylaws for teams and we are now in the final vote for the membership bylaws we didn't edit anything 17 people replied to that which is pretty good numbers um and they all said, yes, I like these. So hopefully those will pass through. And then the last thing we'll have to do for bylaws is um, we've already drafted the miscellaneous bylaws. It's mostly drafting the code of conduct next because our last meeting only three people managed to make it. And it feels weird to like set the code of conduct with only three people present. So hopefully our next meeting will have more people there. Um, we did, during one of the like impromptu meetings, discuss fundraising ideas, and um, if I miss anything, Ruben, please help me with this, but we kind of totaled up the minimum amount of money that we would need um, just for incorporation, and that's around $335, so we'll have to kind of look into that. Um, I might be moving, so Ani might be the person that, we haven't talked to Ani about this yet, <laughs> but she might be the person that has to um, register the incorporation to her address. Um, and then we also, this is kind of wrapped up in the fundraising ideas. I'm gonna come back to the like, methods in a minute, but we did kind of go through all of our legal advice options because it's the one free legal thing that we do know for sure might work out is 
stationed in New York. And the problem is it's usually like state law specific. So I don't have high hopes that they're going to get back to us and be like, yes, we can help you in North Carolina, <laughs> you know, um, they might, and that would be great. But we did go ahead and start looking into um, like nonprofit services online that are like businesses. And the most affordable and most reasonable place that we found was $250. So that's also something that we're going to be looking into. Because of that, um, we were thinking about a bunch of different fundraising ideas because that's a significant amount of money. Um, and we looked into briefly Patreon as a possibility of a central location for members. Um, and then we also thought about like, okay, well, what if we just get a membership to a Venmo, et cetera. So I'm kind of curious what y'all think about that. I don't know how familiar you are with Patreon. Um, I was not at all from the actual like business side, but there are some nonprofits that we looked at that like give you the option and I haven't figured out how they did this yet, but they give you the option to pay a set rate all at once for a whole year instead of paying monthly. So that was part of the draw for that. And then I also think the way that Patreon runs might be a really easy way for us to keep all of our information centralized. But at the same time, like members would have to be willing to do Patreon. So I don't know what y'all think about that. Um, please let me know. So we would be, sorry, just to clarify, we would be doing Patreon instead of like PayPal on the website, potentially. Okay, okay. Um, I personally, I just worry about Patreon because I know like the some of the content creators and artists and stuff I already follow um, talk, seem, not all of them, but it seems to me that sometimes it's hard to get people to want to pay something about patreon and paying versus like just paypaling something i don't know or like venmoing i just worry about getting um not traffic website traffic what's it called just getting people to pay like via patreon subscribers patrons basically yeah, yeah. also because i know it's like tiered and i and i know we could if there's nonprofits who uh have done it it might be fine i feel like i just feel like the um even though it's set up for tiers of like pay what you can i don't like the idea of like you have to pay a certain amount of money to have access for us anyway i think it's fine for other things but for us i don't like the idea of having to pay money to access a certain thing um unless we just make it all available like every level you have this you have the same amount of access to everything it's just what you can pay is the difference um, which if that's the case, I might not have that big of an issue with it. Um, <clears throat> but I also, I don't know if Patreon has a thing of like, cause I know some places they have like $1, um, subscription, which I feel like is more or less kind of everyone can do that. But we also don't know like if people can really like spare a dollar one month. And I don't think, is there a way to like, I don't know. I have a lot of thoughts and I'm just rambling at this point. I'll have to sit and think about it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of those concerns are some of the concerns that I had as well. Oh, sorry, Stephanie. Oh, no, you're okay. I was just going to say that I use it a lot. Um, I like pay for content, but I there's a couple artists who, yeah, I just pay a dollar and that gets you access to everything, but um, yeah, just like Olivia is saying, like, you can definitely set it up to where, like, there are different tiers, but every tier is the same. Like, there's no extra, like, you don't get more things because you're paying $10 or $20. And, but you can also, I don't know if this is what you're wondering, Liv, but you can, like, have it skip a month or you can cancel it and then always come back and repay at any time. Um, and if, they like got charged and they need their money back they can just message us and then we can refund that and that's also possible um yeah those are i guess my immediate thoughts <laughs> of my knowledge of it
That's really good to know. Like I looked into how, how little we could charge and we could literally charge a penny. <laughs> I mean, Patreon will be like, no, don't do that. <laughs> Value yourself. But like, we can still do it, you know? Um, Cause it's set up for like individual people, you know? Um, and then it lectures you on valuing your work, <laughs> which is like great. Cause a lot of people do need to hear that, but not a pay what you can organization, you know? Um, what I'm trying to figure out is, so one of the things that I was worried about was like, and this is going to sound weird, but me personally, I've often found myself in situations where I'm like, I can afford this now, but I can't afford it throughout the year, you know? And there was one organization that's, I think, a nonprofit that gives you the option to just pay all at once, right? So you pay for the entire year. Um, I don't know how to make that happen because you also still have the option to pay for monthly if you'd rather do that. Um, and I don't know how we can make that happen because I've been digging around. I made like a quick Patreon page for us just to look at it. Um, and I've been digging around and I can't figure out like how to activate that option. But I do think if we choose that, like I want to make sure we do have that ability where it's like, just pay us $5 for a whole year, you know? Um, but yeah. Is, is there a service fee? It's Liz asking in the chat. I couldn't uh, remember. Yeah. I, I felt like there was or because that was another reason they were like, you should pay yourself more, but also because you have to pay us something, right? I thought that's what that was. I also had like a vague memory of that, of like needing, they like take a, a part of your proceeds every time, um, which like, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. Cause I recognize we live in a capitalistic society, but the nice thing about PayPal to my knowledge uh, is that you can do like a free transfer to banks and stuff like that. Um, or like it just transfers and there's no like fee or anything, like they don't take anything out of it, but that also could be wrong. Um, Cause I'm not really using PayPal as a business. It's more of a like a more individualized kind of money spending thing. So I will say, I think I'm set up as a business on PayPal. I'm not really sure, but I do know like I've had people pay me in checks before on PayPal and they definitely take a fee from that, like a big old chunky fee. Um, but this is what I Googled real quick. So there are platform fees and then there are payment processing fees. I don't know if these apply. So Patreon has like a specific, like I am a nonprofit that you can set up. And I don't know if these apply to that or if this is specific to individuals. So I will read up more on this and then get back to you because I don't, I don't want to freeze our meeting. Um, but I'm definitely going to look into that. So let me write that down. All right. And I'm going to dip, but I will, uh, watch this back to see the rest of it. Um, bye, -bye guys. Bye, bye, bye Olivia. Bye. Bye, Olivia. Good, to see you. <laughs> Good to see you guys too. The other reason Sorry to just hop into that right after Liv leaves, but <laughs> the other reason I was thinking about Patreon is like, there's no, um, like you can accept a bunch of different currencies. They are all Western currencies for some reason, like euros and things. Um, like you can't pay in yen or anything like that, but I, I don't know, that's better than nothing. And I don't know what PayPal's rules are on that either, so something to think about. Is it the type of thing where it maybe like automatically converts it? Yeah. Okay. And it'll tell them too, like a conversion rate to, for them. So like if we say that the minimum is $5 or a dollar or whatever random number we pick, it'll convert that to whatever it is in their country. So I don't know any conversion rates. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but like, mm, <laughs> I don't know anything. Um, but yeah, I think that's something to consider, mostly just because it would centralize everything really well. Um, but I also just don't know if there are any other ethical issues. And like Liv was saying, um, it might be like a, a hump for people because they have to create a whole new account 
at another place, you know, to interact with us. So I don't know, maybe that's something we think about more. Um, what is the next thing? Let me share my screen again. Boop, boop. Sorry, I minimized something and Zoom said it's not there anymore. Um, okay, so those are all the things that we've been thinking about. Um, the next couple of steps are like we need to finalize the member bylaws like we talked about earlier, um, draft the code of conduct. Then we also, once all the bylaws are done, like that's great. Essentially what will happen is we'll take that to a lawyer along with the articles of incorporation and have them review it. And then we'll get our EIN and then we're allowed to have a bank account and then we can actually start fundraising. Um, the big problem with fundraising to start <laughs> is that an individual member is going to have to like accept those funds um, unless we can find a place where we can pay directly through PayPal or something and manage to set up a PayPal without a bank account. But those are things we're gonna have to figure out the brass tacks of later. Um, and we do have some really generous members who are offering to um, foot the bill for a lot of that stuff too, so, but again, It'd be good if it was not all resting on one or two people. Um, I think that's it. Did I forget anything, Ruben? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, we're really, we're really close. And I think our fundraising goal is pretty manageable. So you said the total number, right? 350. Yeah, 350 and then yeah. on top of that, potentially 250 or more um, for any kind of like legal service if we can't get a free lawyer. So, uh, but that would be like a whole year of legal service Yeah, for that much. Um, oh yeah, so then we said like, what, like our actual, our full goal was like 500, 600. Yeah, I think it might've been 600 or 650. So. I feel like it was an even number of 600. Yeah, I think it was 600. I think you're right. Yeah, because 335 for, mm -hmm, it was 600. Okay. I just realized I hadn't written that down. <laughs> yes. So hopefully we can match or, well, reach that number. Um, cool. So I guess we talked already about design. Is there anything to talk about with YouTube? other than how freaking amazing Emma is. <laughs> yes, right? Oh my right. God, shout out to Emma. In a day. <laughs> a day, just knock yeah. it out. Props. Um, no, everything is going really well. Um, all of the titles have been edited. I went through and retitled everything. So, cause I have it all starting with a date and before it was going like month, day, year. And now I have it going year, month, day. Um, because it was like sending all the, it was like reordering them automatically, like in the order of the, by number. So I was like ha trying to make it more consistent. So it would be ordered by year. So, um, and I may just do like a way to like eventually to like archive stuff into like years, like these were all of our 2020 meetings um, and then 2021 meetings. So making more like playlists and whatnot, but nope, it's been going, um, it's been going really well. It's, I've got it pretty streamlined now where everything like happens really quickly. And yeah, Emma's like knocking it out. So cool. Awesome. Okay. And then we talked a little bit about the pride event. I think probably it's a little too late for us to do anything more than just making the um, open studio final Friday into a pride right. event. Yeah, I agree. Stop calling it open studio. It's final Friday, <laughs> yeah. which sounds very fatalistic, but you know. All right, cool. Um, um, so Barbara's gonna make a new thingy. Do you want it to say final Friday instead of open studio? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That I think would make it easier for people to remember. Or do you want it to say like final Friday open studio? Or open studio and then final Fridays. 
<laughs> I Our like Final Friday Open Studio. Open Friday uh, Studio final Night. Studio. studio <laughs> final. Open Friday. Open Friday Final Studio. The last studio. The yeah. last <laughs> studio ever. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, the the second one, the Open Studio Final Friday, is probably okay. Good. Yeah. Oh. I'm thinking about it too, since these are final Fridays. Um, my, I may not have, I may have to have somebody do the next, run the next one or something. Um, Cause I don't know. Well, I don't know. Do I have to be in the meetings for y'all to get into these meetings? I think you have to be in them for us to get in, but then you can transfer the host. Okay. So yeah, I might need to figure out cause next final, July final Friday is when my like show opening is. Um, so. Take us to your yeah. show. <laughs> oh yeah, I can just do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can just like brief. I can like briefly do that. So yeah, I, I can always just like show up and transfer over to host someone else or somebody else, and then like I can pop in a little bit later and be like, "Hey everyone, here's my show." <laughs> yes. Clap now. <laughs> yeah. yes. Please clap. Yes. Please clap. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we're probably done um, talking about official business. Yeah, right. is there anything else? I think so. Wow, that was like a really fast meeting. Yeah, very efficient. I'm very proud of us. Yes, we knock it out. Yes. Is I think there anything else? We're getting so close to being done with incorporation, too. Like, yeah. 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 Cool. And I really recommend that everybody look into the the last incorporation video that we just posted, like what we discussed there, because we did kind of talk about special elections, mm -hmm. um, which I think was really, I thought that was actually a really good conversation for us to have, considering one will be happening probably soon. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully before August. I think if we do it in August, it's going to be wild. Um, yeah. yeah. And we can always decide to do it in like September instead, you know? Yeah. But yeah. Exciting. All right. Well, I guess we're done yeah, recording. Yeah. Feels weird okay. to be done with that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop recording here. Okay.